Three, two, one, action. This video is about science bubble shapes. Oh, and maths. We've got two kits, a large one and a small one. And we're going to show you how to use them, but you can get your own kit and you can get your own kit at bubblyheaven.co.uk forward slash shop. Now, first thing I need is my special assistant, my expert assistant, Holly. Oh, hello. Oh, do you have a message? Come closer, nice and close. Do you have a message for everyone? Hit the subscribe button and hit the bell. <laughs> I love that. Subscribe, hit the bell. You're so great. Right, well, Holly's actually made a couple of these shades herself without any assistance at all. And how old are you, Holly? Seven. Seven. Well, so what we're going to do is these are the two kits. Now, we've got the small one and the shapes are this size. And then we've got the large one and the straws are this size, but we cut them down. When I use them to fit them in a bucket, I cut them down. If you, you, the, the kit will come in this size. You've got to cut them down if you want them into a smaller bucket than a really big one. But this way you can make some massive shapes. These are the sizes we've cut them down to. We're going to start. And those, those are the ones that Holly made earlier. Now we're going to start with this shape here. Oh, before we start, a couple of fundamentals. First of all, we've got 10 litres of water in here. They're slightly tepid, so it's not too cold. And all we need is this much fairy liquid. And yes, it is fairy liquid. It's what works. Thank you, Procter & Gamble. We would love some sponsorship. <laughs> so there's no, it's not heavy science. We're putting about 100 millilitres. Do you want to do the last squeeze, Holly? <laughs> Brilliant, thank you very much. And that's all we need. Not much, it's kind of not much, not much more concentrated than washing up liquid. And but now, when I am not going to make foam, I'm going to put my hand in, get right to the bottom. You can use gloves if you want to, and just with my fingers, if you have a closer look, you'll see my fingers are literally just what cleaning the soap off the bottom so that we don't make any foam. Foam is our enemy and we have a sieve and a bowl ready to remove any foam from the surface so that we have beautiful, clean bubble films. So we're going to start with the tetrahedron. Are you going to get yours out? You made that little one, that little one you made earlier, that one. It's a tetrahedron, that's the maths name. It's got four faces, four triangles and this is the basic shape to many, many molecules. <laughs> Let's dip it in. And these are the wonderful <laughs> shapes. There you go. The shapes that you get inside. It's bubble film and it's science and there's lots more information. Look for the link in the description on where you can get more information about the science of bubbles. Now I'm going to do one more thing. I'm going to catch a bubble inside a bubble. Now with these smaller shapes, these you can get for classrooms where all your learners can have their own indoor, or have shared classroom kits. You can get lots for your classroom. And I'm going to quickly show you all the shapes in this size. So we've got the tetrahedron, the tetrahedral shape. We've got the prism, it's a triangular prism. You can see a triangle all the way through. That's it, that's exactly right. Dip that in and this is what you get in the small shape. Again, catch a bubble inside. Catch a falling bubble, put it in your pocket. There you go, it's beautiful. And you can set it free and make spheres when you set them free. And then we've got the next shape is the octahedron. Now with this shape, the octahedron is a bit harder to catch a bubble in the middle with the smaller size, but you can still see some fascinating so move that one slightly over so they can see what's, the, what's in this one and then you can show yours. Okay, so, okay. Now it's, it's slightly harder to catch a bubble in the middle of this one, although not impossible. And there's Holly's one. Now there is a technique, which I will show you in a moment for the um, catching the bubbles inside. Now we've got a little bit of foam accumulating on top. So we're going to clear the foam from the top. And now we're going to cut the cube. Now the cube, the technique is quite important with the cube. You put it in 
and then you lift it out if you can bring the camera closer and you lift it out one vertex first in a diagonal way and then you've got this beautiful ah, look at that your one's much bigger than mine Holly has the demonstration size, the medium size demonstration that we've cut down. Imagine what size you'd make it if you had a big, huge bucket. And then if I dip it in one more time, you, this time you dip it in completely flat and catch a bubble inside. Look what shape that bubble is. Again, if you want more maths and science about the bubbles, follow the links in the description. <laughs> and I'm gonna see if I can set this one free. Ah, oh, we've got a sphere. We have a sphere. So these are the that was the smaller size. That's your individual kit. And now we're going to take this the larger kit, but instead of the size that it actually comes in, which is this long, we've cut it down to 15 centimeters. It comes in 21 centimeters. Thank you, Holly. Perfect. You hold that one then. Perfect. And now show us how long the 15 centimeter one is. There you go. We've cut it down to that there approximately there that's it and that way we can fit all our shapes in the bucket but if you get when you the full size you can get a huge ginormous yeah. bucket so start again with the the tetrahedron now holly show us your one please holly made this all on her own i did not help her make this one i'm going to dip that in this gives you you can demonstrate this to a whole i actually demonstrate this to a whole theater and with those are the films and then we're going to catch a bubble inside, a tetrahedral bubble. As you can see with the larger shapes, it sits with a little bit of help from gravity. You just bring it round. Always wet your fingers when you touch them. If you don't wet your fingers, you will pop the bubble. Now let the grab. There you go. So you just give it a little jiggle and gravity will do its job. Now I'm going to dry my fingers. So I'm going to pop the film, not the bubble, the film, and set the bubble free so it's a sphere oh that was like a, a clown sphere that had little clown oh, nodes on it yeah it bounced okay so now with the prism the technique is i'm holding it by one vertex with these little ones they've got the handles but it's, it's much easier to make the shapes yeah, okay. inside these but with the bigger ones hold it by one vertex hold it right at the tip there that's it and then put it down all the way underwater then lift it out by that vertex first. And that way you get beautiful. Look at that, Holly, it's so beautiful. See how wonderful, I, see I couldn't have done this without you, Holly, you are so amazing. I'm gonna clean out the foam a little bit so that we're now going to dip it again. This time we're gonna make it completely flat. If you could bring the camera and see, I'm gonna catch a bubble by putting See, I've, I've dipped the hot, the flat square down in. Now I'm going to lift it out one vertex last again to catch the bubble. First, I've got a wine glass. Oh, you've got two bubbles, so you can you can play with it. You can do have all kinds of adventures. And I'm going to see if gravity will help me. I'm going to blow it a bit too. There we go. Oh no, that hasn't done. But that's fine because you can play and find all kinds of lovely shapes with these. Look at that. Look, it's like an S shape. There's lots and lots of shapes and there will be, follow the, the links in the description to discover about bubble films. And we've got, this one is hard to make the bubble with, going for the octahedron now. That was the prism, this is the octahedron. It's an octahedron because it has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight faces. So it's an octahedron, we're gonna dip it in, very definitely one vertex first out, or you will struggle to make the film. Look at that. First time lucky we have the optimal minimal surface inside the octahedron. It looks like a star, isn't it gorgeous? It looks like almost like a... Oh, look at you, you've got lots of bubbles. Holly's got lots of bubbles. I'm going to see if I can just make one. So Whoopsie. Oh, You're going to see if you can make one right. as well. And the thing is, it's experimenting. You're getting, you're gaining skills like perseverance and determination, even building them. Holly demonstrated a huge amount of perseverance and determination. I've managed to get the bubble inside that does have eight faces, but it's not a perfect octahedron. This is octahedral. It has eight faces, but they're all curvy in different shapes. And Holly's, as you can see, enjoying hers thoroughly. 
And I'm going to set mine free as well. See if I can make set my sphere free. And whee, there goes my sphere. <laughs> and the final one. Here we go. We did this in the small version. Now we're going to do it in the big version. First, can you sh we have a look at how much foam Polly's got there? I'm going to scoop that foam off because if we don't, that's how we get all those lots of bubbles. And if we just yeah. want one bubble, it's very difficult to do. It's because if you get loads of bubbles, you can't do it. That's right. Well, you can make loads of bubbles if you've got loads of bubbles, but it's oh, yeah. very, very hard to make just one bubble. Okay, you ready with yours? So I'm going to the big cube, hold it by one vertex, one okay. corner. I'm going to dip it in down, but when we pull it out, we're going to do our best to pull it out oh, yeah. with yeah, one vertex like first. And <gasps> Now, I do like to point out when we do this one, get rid of that small bubble there, that little stowaway bubble there, that um, whilst the cube <gasps> is a polyhedron it's a cube a cube has straight edges and, and flat faces that little square in the middle there isn't even a square it's got curved edges and then if you dip it again you see if you can get get the get the square holly see if you can manage it we're going to catch the bubble inside and this is officially known as a cubic bubble because its faces are not flat and its edges are not straight you did it Holly, you rock. Give me a high five. That's a bubble five. That is brilliant. Look at that. You're going to set yours free that way. Oh, look at you. You've got, look at that. You've got, you've made a tunnel right through the middle. Show, oh, there's that. Oh, look at you. <laughs> see if I can make a tunnel right through the middle. And stuff. I, let's see. Oh, right. I'm going to do one more time. This is, after that, once you've made your shapes and you've, you've read the, all about, the science and maths of soap bubbles mm -hmm. you can don't have you can just play so look at this watch that's what holly did just now i didn't do that you well not quite no sorry perseverance and determination is something you learn by playing with bubbles and it's a very valuable life skill so here we go see if i can do it again one more time holly no air just for a moment there you go. Can you look through here? Look through here with me. Holly, look through there. Don't blow. Don't blow. Just look through there. <laughs> Thank you very much. Please remember to subscribe, ding the notification bell, and get your own kit, large, small, cut your large one down at bubblyheaven.co.uk forward slash shop. Shoppity shoppity shop. Thank you very much. <laughs> do you want to do something just fun? Just to just for fun. Now um, now Holly made all these shapes herself, didn't you? All of them. Like, come on, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna dip? Oh, let's get you some foam out of there. There you go. Look, there you go. Upside down, that's a new technique. Oh, you've made um, um, uh, hyper, hyper, hyperbolic para, hyperbolic something, <laughs> hyperbolic surface. It's hyperbolic mathematics that was you just did there. You didn't even know it. 